Well, there's new video tonight of the aftermath of a multi-million dollar jewelry heist. The merchandise was in a Brinks truck on its way to a jewelry show in Pasadena. KKL News reporter Joy Benedict is here now with that new video and more on how the theft happened. Joy? Yeah, Pat, this one was brazen and what appears to be a coordinated and planned attack on this Brinks truck. Tonight, we're getting a better look at what was inside the truck and what happened on that doomed trip on the 5 freeway, thanks to body cam video obtained in a lawsuit and given to us through attorneys. That was... That was our seal. That's your seal. We had a lock on here. You had a lock on here, yeah? And it's gone. It's a call two deputies weren't expecting on this early morning almost a year ago. A theft at a truck stop valued in the millions. How much of the, how much of the inventory do you guys think you're carrying? About two and a half million in diamonds and jewelry. It's a story we first told you about last summer when someone broke into the back of a semi truck trailer parked at this Flying J in Lebec. Inside, valuable jewelry. Are you guys marked with Brinks at all on the truck? Yeah, all the truck. On the truck yeah. and everything. Yeah. Now we're getting a look at the aftermath thanks to the body worn cameras of two LA County yeah. Sheriff's deputies. We're talking about mom and pop jewelers, and this is not lifestyles of the rich and famous. Jerry Kroll is the attorney representing 14 plaintiffs, jewelers who filed a lawsuit against Brinks, the company responsible for the transport that night, as the gyms were heading from a jewelry show in San Mateo to one in Pasadena. The organizer of the show, Arnold Duke, has told everybody that his estimation is that we're talking about $100 million of jewelry in this loss. And if that's the case, as Arnold says it is, that would be the largest jewelry heist probably in U.S. history. The heist happened on July 11th, 2022. According to the body cam video, the two Brinks employees said one was asleep in the cab and the other went inside to get food, coming out about 20 minutes later to find the back lock sawed off in what was a seemingly organized effort. I'm pretty sure we were called from the show where we got loaded. As they count the bags left over, they realize 24 are missing, snatched out of the back. Led my clients to believe they were having armored transport. They even filed a lawsuit saying that this loss occurred on an armored tractor trailer. But as we've now learned, this trailer is a regular old big rig. It was not armored. It's basically no different than the goods that are hauled like groceries to bonds. But Brink says not so fast, claiming the jewelers undervalued their goods and now there are dueling lawsuits in play. Is that the value that's in each bag or is this just the insurance that covers? No, that's the that's the declared value of the customer. Put on. In a statement, a Brink spokesperson says, according to the information the customers provided to us before they ship their items, the total value of the missing items is less than $10 million. Brink says if they knew the jewelry had a higher value, Value, they would have used a different mode of transport, continuing in their statement to say, we held up our end and fulfilled our contract, settling claims with three affected customers. The others have chosen to litigate, admitting under oath that they undervalued their goods and even did so regularly. Tell them there's 49 P bags in here. The paper says 73. And as courts work out who's owed what, someone got away with millions in precious stones and jewelry on that doomed trip yeah. last summer. Well, you don't see this every day. That takes two of us. Now, the L.A. County Sheriff's Department says the case of the stolen jewelry is still under investigation. As for the lawsuits, they head back to an L.A. courtroom next week. Juan. What a case, Joy. Thanks so much.